An expedition high in the mountains on an unforgiving rock face. The majestic peak of Mount Tsurugi in central Japan. Because of its jagged appearance, this mountain is often called the Palace of Crags. It was the last of Japan's major mountains to be climbed. Sveto Podlagar is a professional mountain guide who's certified internationally. He has scaled numerous peaks around the world. Climbing sheer rock faces and following narrow mountain trails. Scary, scary. Watch your night in there. Why, why, why? Traversing one of Japan's very few glaciers. And then taking on the final rock wall. This is a place for true alpinists. On this edition of Journeys in Japan, climbing to the summit of the Palace of Crags, Mount Tsurugi. The journey begins in Unazuki in Toyama Prefecture. Good morning, everybody. And this time we are going to Mount Tsurugi. Mount Tsurugi is a very famous Japanese mountain, which was unknown almost 100 years ago. People, they have to draw the map. So you follow me and we see the people, history and everything. Let's go then. The first stage is by train following the gorge of the Kurobe River. Sveto is heading for Mount Tsurugi in the Northern Alps. Some 220 kilometers northwest of Tokyo, it is one of Japan's 100 most famous mountains. This railroad was built before World War II for the construction of a dam that would provide power for Japan's military industry. There is abundant water in the Kurobe River, so it's an ideal location for hydropower. After an 80-minute journey, the train arrives at the final station, Keaki Daira. Ichino-san, from here, so we start to climb all the way to Mount Tsurugi, and I will guide you the nice and safety way, and I hope we enjoy okay. together. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Sveto is going to lead the way on this expedition. From Keaki Daira, the route goes along the Kurobe River as far as Azohara Onsen. After leaving the river, they will head for Ikenotaira. Then there is an even steeper ridge to climb, leading up to the summit of Mount Tsurugi. The route from Keaki Daira is steep, but after an hour, they come out on level ground. This trail is called the horizontal track. It's a uh, note more up down. From here, we go mostly straight. The horizontal track dates from 1920, before the railway was built, and was used for bringing in construction materials. Now, it's a mountain trail used by hikers along the Kurobe Gorge. Yeah. 
Whoopa! No! It's still only October, but the trail is blocked by snow. End of the world here, since there's no more trail. Oh, ah, 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 tunnel got a look at that. Guys, you are quick, I don't know. I'm not sure if you're This snowfield is here year round. To get past it, there is a small hand dug tunnel. You see this? It's so beautiful. It's like gold, oh. like silver. The surface of the wall is sparkling. It's a phenomenon that occurs when the light reflects off water droplets that form on a rare type of mold. After another 200 meters, they emerge. Huh. Uh, this was kind of adventure. Oh. Huh? Yeah. There's the hole there. Uh. They've made it past the snowfield without any hitch. Now, they make their way along a trail that's been carved out of the cliff face. It's a sheer drop down to the bottom of the valley, about a hundred meters below. Six hours after setting off from Keaki Daida, they arrive at a mountain lodge. They have reached Azuhara Onsen. Ah, Tsuita. Ah, Tsuita, Tsuita. The lodge is run by Izumi Sasaki. It has an open air bath, which is very unusual for a mountain hut. It was during the construction of the dam that this hot spring water first appeared. ダムで溜めた水を発電所まで送るトンネルを掘ったんですよ。そこからこの山全体が熱いから湧き出したのが温泉。うわって作ったなこの熱いところ。50年以上前にです。いや今日も歩いたところもびっくりでなんかすごい
The torrential rain the previous night has washed the bridge away. All that's left is the debris. There's nothing they can do about it. So they decide to head back to the lodge to discuss their options. Sveto-san, what is planned tomorrow? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know, I'm thinking. So we can, there's no way. Yeah. So the only way is to wait mm -hmm. till tomorrow and then we go the same, the same way. We try to do the same way. And the weather is good from tomorrow, I think. It's not raining anymore, so uh -huh. we just have to wait. The water level will go down yeah. and then, then we try. <laughs> Although the weather starts to clear, the river level is too high for them to do anything but wait. The next day, they make their way to the site of the bridge. Sasaki heads down there with them. Maintaining the trails to keep the hikers safe is part of the job for the people who run the mountain lodges. Sasaki has come to see about fixing the bridge. The water level is more than a meter lower than it was yesterday. Although rivers swell fast in these upstream areas, they drop quickly too. The immediate priority is to make a temporary bridge at a place where the river is narrowest. Sasaki used to be a member of the Toyama Prefectural Police Mountain Rescue Squad. He has saved many climbers. It takes them about 30 minutes to complete the ad hoc bridge. Leaving Sasaki there, they set off one day behind schedule. It's a beautiful, clear day, very different from the rainy conditions up to now. It feels great to be hiking up through the trees. They reach a place called Senninyu. They're now about 1,500 meters above sea level. The steam billowing from the slope comes from a natural hot spring. Mm, it's nice. Warm, just, just, just temperature. Oh. Mm. Up here, it's easy to feel the power of the earth underfoot. Uh, 
At 2 p.m., they arrive at Senin Ike, a small lake some 2,100 meters above sea level. This is one of the best spots for viewing Mount Tsurugi. Another hour on the trail brings them to Ike no Taira Lodge. This is where they'll stay the night. Sadao Kinogawa knows this place better than anyone. This lodge, hidden deep in the mountains, was originally built in 1915 as the office for a company that was mining for molybdenum, a rare metal. Kinugawa takes him up to look at the remains of the mine. <laughs> but just outside the tunnel, they glimpse something. This molybdenum was mined for the Japanese military. And people really, they, they came up here two, three days walk to look for this and they stay for three, four months in summer digging these things and carry down 100 years ago. They were really tough people, you know, unbelievable. Evening falls. Tomorrow, They'll push on, aiming for the summit of Mount Tsurugi. How do you feel this morning? Okay? Uh, Strong? Okay. Had a good sleep? Yes. Good. It's going to be a long day. Yeah, 10 hours maybe or more. I fly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Their route along the northern ridge line is recommended only for advanced climbers. Those with little experience are not allowed to enter this trail without a professional guide. Yeah. <laughs> From here, it's a climb of about 900 meters to the summit. They are entering the Palace of Crags. They arrive at the Komodo Snowfield. I just saw the newspaper there at the hut. Uh -huh. They said they announced in 19, uh, no, 2012 uh -huh. that this is not a snowfield, this is the ice. Uh -huh. It's a glacier. Glacier? Yes. Snowfields are places in the mountains where the snow never melts. But at the Komodo snowfield, the snow is turned into ice after being compressed for thousands of years. It's actually a glacier slowly inching downhill. There are very few glaciers in Japan, 
And this is the largest. Above the Komodo snowfield, they reached the ridge. They are now at 2,600 meters. The way up this steep rock face is the narrow valley in the middle, known as the gully. Just uh, okay, slowly, huh? rocks. Oh. Look! Look! She can see. Oh, Abunai. Normally, they'd be able to see the footprints of previous climbers, but the heavy rain has erased them. The gully is treacherous with many loose stones. It takes about an hour to make it up the gully. <sighs> From here on up, they need to secure themselves with a long rope. This is full-fledged mountaineering. This climb doesn't require particularly advanced skills, but the sheer height is enough to deter many climbers. Huh. You step here. Yes. Uh, For a long time, this peak was considered unapproachable. But today, there are several routes up Mount Tsurugi, and many climbers make their way here. Oh, there is a top of Mount Tsurugi. The summit is in sight, not far now, but they can't relax yet. Yeah. <sighs> 
Uh. 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 Look around. Yeah. What we can see, there is no highest point than this yeah. one. It means we are at the top. Oh. Yes. Uh. We are at the very top of Mount Tsurugi. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you are a great climber. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Two times. There's no easy way to reach the top of Mount Tsurugi. For those climbers who've confronted and overcome this challenge, the feeling is very special. Well, this is the end of our big grand traverse of Mount Tsurugi. You can see on the back, Tsurugi was a privilege for just for these priests. And now it's a very popular climbing spot, and it's almost 3,000 meters. <laughs> it's 2,999. You see everything, you watch this video again. If you don't have enough impression, you learn more and more each time, and... Uh, the best thing is not to watch, just come over here and see and try and challenge by yourself. That's it. From Tokyo to Unazuki, the starting point for this climb, take the new Hokuriku Shinkansen bullet train to Kurobe Unazuki Onsen, then transfer to the Toyama Chiho Tetsudo Honsen. Mount Tsurugi lies in Toyama Prefecture, which is famous for its pressed sushi. Masuno sushi made with cherry salmon from Kurobe River is especially popular. It's only available when the fish is in season. Yummy. I love sushi, kind of. 